All right, BA here with a very short video on the Thinkorswim platform. And uh, what I want to do is run a series of these really short bite-sized videos so that uh, you can get up to speed on the platform if this is what you're using uh, as quickly as possible. So I'll toss out some very, uh, very quick tidbits of info here and you can use the uh, what uh, TD Ameritrade and Thinkorswim have built into their education platform on all their videos to help you get uh, uh, at least where you can use this very, very sophisticated platform. All right, today's video is going to be opening the Thinkorswim platform and the monitor tab. And that's all we're going to cover today. So when you open up your Thinkorswim plat platform, the first thing you're going to see maybe is this home screen right here. If you get the home screen, all you have to do is click over here to the monitor tab to bring you back to the monitor. I have... Uh, uh, whenever the Thinkorswim platform opens up for me, it diverts to all accounts. I have multiple accounts that I trade, so uh, uh, it, ref uh, it defaults to uh, this all account tab. Now, if you want to, uh, if you're ever doing a video or sharing anything with the Thinkorswim platform, you'll see here I have all asterisks selected. Uh, it's because it's it's called the privacy key. So if you want to uh, um, if you want to select a privacy key, click on the Netlick window right there, bring it up, and then you can select this tab right here to uh, toggle between privacy and open. So, uh, all right, once I get open, once I take a look and select which account I want to work in, that's the first thing I do, make sure I'm operating in the right account. So I have all of these accounts linked to one login. Uh, today we're going to be working in uh, one of the smaller, uh, the smallest account I trade, just to show you uh, a few things about this. Okay, so I open up, I go to my account tab, click on the right account that I want to be working in, primarily working out of today, for the for the day, and uh, first thing I do is look at my options buying power. The buying power is how much cash you have left to commit to trades. So I want to make sure that my buying power is uh, is not out of whack with what it was yesterday at the close. If it is out of whack, then something's wrong in my position somewhere. Something went against me or greatly in my favor. So that's the first cue that when uh, when you open up, especially if it's during market hours, that something could be uh, um, something could be out of whack somewhere. So option buying power, first thing I look at. The second thing is net lick and day trades. The net lick tab is uh, that amount that you see there is what your account, what your account's really worth. Uh, it's kind of like the uh, if you were to liquidate everything today, that's uh, that's exactly what you would get, give or take, you know, a few, a few shekels here and there. All right, I never look at the other stuff here. It doesn't really uh, concern me that much. All right, so we're in the monitor tab. We've looked. We're in the right account. Our net, our option buying power looks good, and our net lick is fine. We're okay with all that. So next thing is my eyes gravitate toward uh, my position statement. So this is where you'll have all of your underlines listed that you're trading. Uh, if you have options, you just select that, and break these out, and this is where your options are shown inside the the individual symbol there. Um, working your way what I want to really make sure that you get set up here in the mon monitor tab is the way my uh, the way my columns are set up so I want you to display days mark trade price mark change and percent change uh, these will always remain the same you won't change those and the way you do that is go over here to click on this little customizable uh, column gear you'll get this window so when you get this window all you have to do is uh, let's say we wanted to add uh, Delta to the column I slip select it hit add and then you can move it up wherever you want it in the thing we don't want Delta on there because we're not selling options Delta is really crucial when you uh, when you have a short option program going so we don't want that what we want is quantity number of days uh, to expiration, this is for options positions, uh, and the mark price, 
the mark price is kind of like the last trade price that your stock or your option uh, has uh, traded at. The trade price, that's very crucial. This is what I use to calculate my uh, profit targets off of. Uh, this right here. You want mark change and then percent change. So once you get this set up like this, just click OK and then it'll, it'll look exactly like mine and you're good to go. So when you drill down, you can see number of days. All right, so in this trade right here, I have 34 days left on these uh, options right here. I have 62 days left in these options. All right, that's what that's all about. So you can see here, trade price. This is what I bought these puts for. And mark price is what they're currently valued at. So we have a, we have a slight profit in those you know, to the tune of about $780. So your P&L open is how much profit and loss you have uh, since you've initiated the position. P&L day is just the dailies, gains, or losses. That's all that is. All right, once you understand that, uh, you'll have your overall P&L year to date uh, in this column right here. I don't worry about cash and sweep. I don't worry about available dollars. I see that up there in my uh, option buying power. All right, you have the choice here uh, of going new layout, old layout. I just keep it new layout, no big uh, diff, uh, not a big difference, but uh, that's the way we want to keep this thing looking. All right, moving up here, your working orders. If you have orders in the queue, it's going to be displayed up here. You just click on these little. Uh, uh, these little arrows and then in the, the box will expand all right for the day for any filled orders you can look at the end of the day and see what we were filled or what you were canceled on so that's that's how you see that if you want to uh, you can set all kinds of stuff up in this platform here folks uh, uh, you can create alert on your portfolio so if if you want to uh, your net lick day change is at or above a certain percent then you want to, uh, if, if that's what you want to see, if you're up or down 5% for the day in your overall portfolio, you want to ding, then go ahead and set that right there. It's just a bell and whistle. I don't do it for mine. Uh, I keep close tabs on what we're doing. So, But it's there if you want to. Anything in this platform can be exported to Excel. It exports it to a CSV file, and then you can uh, save it as an Excel uh, workbook. Uh, let's see anything in this platform can be detached you can detach this window right here if you have multiple screens and you want to keep this up and you can roll it out to another monitor if you wanted to see that and, and use this page this new page right here as like a chart tab and then you've got your monitor tab to the left chart tabs right in front of you so everything in this platform can be detached and moved to a different monitor. Uh, let's see. Uh, up the, along the top up here, you'll see we're in the monitor tab. There's the trade tab, analyze tab, scan tab, market watch, charts. I'm not going to go to tools and education, but uh, but that's those are the tabs that we'll be working in in this platform here. So what I'd like to do first off is uh, make sure that you get set up. Um, the Thinkorswim platform was developed so that uh, you didn't have to type anything in. It was built for a point and click platform. <clears throat> so you could just roll over here. We're not going to set up watch list today. That's another video. But you could click here and go over to charts. So we want to see what data is. It automatically populates. You can go over if you want to trade it. It's automatically populated here in your options chain uh, for the analyze tab it's populated there so that's just a neat feature of this that you know once uh, once you set this up like this you will uh, be able to navigate across uh, across the platform again we're not going to set that up today just want to introduce it to you when we get to watch list setups and charts and all that good stuff then we'll make sure that you are linked in another neat feature on the monitor tab right here um, that you want to it's available at any tab that you're operating in but I want to cover it here first off <clears throat> is uh, support and chat they have a lot of really neat features built in here live support is one 
Uh, anything that you need to ask the question about, uh, create a support request. These guys are very responsive and uh, they will get back to you uh, very, very quickly on anything that you ask. You just open it up, select a department, um, fill it in, whatever it is, you know, commission rates, if you want to, hey, change my commission rates, send them a little blurb in there to change your commission rates. Everybody needs to get to a dollar per option contract. That's what you need to get to. So we're having a little trouble getting uh, the newer members uh, down below a buck fifty. You don't want the internet charge. That's that's more expensive. Uh, if you're trading a hundred contracts every time you step up the bat, that uh, that um, internet-based commission fee is probably better for you. But if you're trading, you know, under fifteen under fifteen contracts every time you step up to the bat, uh, it's better to do it. You know, a dollar per contract. But whatever you want to ask them, that feature is there. They have all kinds of neat chat rooms in here that are just, uh, you know, Benzinga Squawk. Now, you can watch, you can listen, you can hear Benzinga Charlie make, uh, make all the calls in the market. A uh, very popular chat room is uh, Shadow Trader. Uh, there's roughly, I think, about 2,400 people that sign into this every day. I usually pull it up to watch it because. Uh, uh, Brad, the guy that moderates this, has uh, a lot of neat charts up that I like to watch for internal, uh, wh how the internals of the markets look. So, uh, all these things are available here in this platform. Just, uh, just kick the tires. Any message you get, this will be flashing right here. Uh, setup tab. We'll talk about that in just a, uh, as we move through uh, the platform. All right, guys. I think that is all I need to cover for the first uh, first lesson here. Um, not much to set up in the first one, but the subsequent videos there will be. So anyway, this is B8 signing out, and uh, look, um, we'll get the other videos out so that uh, you guys can get up to speed very very quickly.